Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you are new here, my name is Zana and I'm an independent music artist. I write and record and produce my music, but I also have a real obsession with learning and trying to like uncover the truth about what this world is and why we're here and what we're doing and all of this stuff. So I created Solar Trip Podcast series to just share my perspective, talk about everything that I figure out and really connect with you who is also on this path. I assume you're on this path if you're watching this video. So we can just connect together and like share what we find, share our understanding and really just help each other elevate and learn and get out of this hell hole, you know? But also I kind of like hesitate sometimes with filming, which I think I've probably said in so many of my videos because I always will battle with self doubt and like go back and forth with it and stop and start these videos. But I kind of reached a point now where it's like, we're always learning, we're always uncovering the truth, we're always figuring out more. And even when you think you know something, like your perception about it could change literally an hour later, you know, or like the next day, or you could meet somebody who can explain something to you in a completely different way. And then you internalize it even further and you understand even more. So I'm realizing like, I'm fearing putting my perception out there but it's just my perception, you know, just like yours is just yours. That's all this world is. So like, I'm literally just holding myself back for no reason. And that's why I keep battling with these goddamn videos. But I feel like I've come to a place where I'm starting to make peace with the fact that like, this is what I feel called to do. And I need to just put this information out there and you can take what resonates and then leave whatever doesn't, you know, because that's all this world is we're just literally experiencing it from our perception. That's literally all it is. So like my opinion could change and I can understand the chakras, which is what I'm talking about in this video. Like I could completely understand it differently in a year's time, but this is where I'm at now. And I want to document that, especially with making music and like, I'm literally building my brand from a bedroom in my mum's house you know so like I want to document this whole journey and be like as authentic as I can with it so I mean basically so you can see that it's so possible for you to do as well but also so we can share this information that actually empowers us and like makes us realize how goddamn powerful we are like makes us tap into our magic and into our power and into the divinity of who we are. This is getting a bit cheesy, but you know what I mean? Like, cause everything has been so hidden and stuff that we literally fear the smallest things, you know? Like we literally doubt ourselves with the smallest things. Like even sitting here filming a goddamn video when that's like nothing, you know, compared to the magnificence and intelligence of what your mind is and what your body is. So for this video, I wanna talk about the chakras and I kind of put it off for a little while because I was just fearing that I didn't know enough but really will we ever know enough you know what does that even mean <laughs> when it comes to intellect I mean you know like you can have an internal knowing but like when it comes to intellect there's always more that you could learn so anyway that is enough rambling I want to talk about the chakras today and I have made notes because I don't want to forget anything I always ramble and like my mind races a million miles an hour so we are easing into this and learning how to just be comfortable and just speak on camera and like pursue your dreams people this is a little message just pursue your dreams and even if like you fuck up along the way even if you have to stop start for a while you should just get up and do it anyway like pick yourself back up and try again you know and you will get there because when I watched my videos back from like a year ago a little bit awkward <laughs> nothing like what I'm like now so it takes a minute but anyway yeah so the chakras I feel like we have certain words in this information I'm trying to figure out how to actually word this you know Mercury and Pisces I do not know how to express that makes sense it always sounds confusing <laughs> so bear with me okay because I'm learning how to like transcend that aspect of myself and not accept it as permanent because it's not you transcend your astrological uh, astrological signs you don't keep hold of them 
so anyway the chakras <laughs> so for me like I always find certain words, even simple words like energy, I always found them to be very vague. Like a lot of people where I would watch their videos and things, they would talk about energy and they would talk about how the law of attraction and how we can manifest our dreams, but no one ever really explained like any substance behind it, like the actual science behind it, you know? No one ever really explained the full thing of what it actually means and what it actually is and how it's true you know like it just kind of felt like we were having to just believe in something a bit like god like you just believe in it without there being any proof so for me like the word energy and the word chakra it just kind of it felt separate and like a new language almost like a new thing that you needed to understand that you didn't actually know and i realized now like it's always been something that we're doing, you know, like the chakras are energy centers. We've always had them. We just didn't know what it was and we didn't understand it. And obviously certain words like chakras and things like that are taken from ancient languages, you know? So a lot of these words may sound unfamiliar because we're like, I mean, we're in this period of time right now, but you could say obviously that we did live those times because we're incarnation and all of that stuff. So that's for a whole other video. But like in this current lifetime, um, certain words can feel a little bit confusing or unfamiliar. And I feel like chakras and energy were definitely some of those words for me where I didn't really know exactly what that meant, you know? But now I realize like energy is literally everything around us because everything is made up of energy, you know? Like I spoke in a previous video that I did, I can't remember what I called it, something to do with, it might have been raising your vibration or it might have been the one before that, I'm not sure. It was one of the first few videos that I did in Solar Trip podcast series. And it was talking about like the electric, uh, uh, electromagnetic waves and the fact that that's what makes up this reality and they vibrate. And then the speed at which they vibrate is your vibration. So yeah, it was probably raise your vibration video that it was in. But we were talking about the electromagnetic waves and the fact that they vibrate and everything like that. And that's literally what makes up this reality and that's what the chakras are like that's what it's talking about is your energy centers you know so it's like points of energy within your being but there are many many more than just the seven that people tend to focus on but i feel like the seven are like the main points that you should focus on because it's like it's literally talking about your emotions and obviously we feel a full freaking spectrum of emotions like we feel so many emotions but to focus on those main seven chakra points focuses on seven specific areas of emotion you know so i guess it's kind of an easier way to break it down and actually hone in on specific emotions and be able to work through those based on your traumas and past experiences and things like that but like your emotions literally are energy in motion like these words do not just come out of nowhere if you actually trace back the etymology of words like you'll be mind blown at some of the words and like what they actually mean and where they came from and how they've been twisted and stuff like this so emotions literally are energy emotion so it is the electromagnetic waves moving and things and then like because really when you like walk into a room and you meet somebody new you can feel when something feels off but you can't actually see that thing like you can't see that something's off unless you can read auras or something which is your energy field like you're being able to see it in colors but unless you can do that you will walk in a room and you won't be able to see that something's off but you can feel it like it's all about feeling and i'm realizing just how much this world is based on feeling because like even your intuition is a feeling you know and sometimes it will be accompanied with words but for the most part it's a feeling and then you'll just be able to kind of interpret that feeling into words yourself you know so like this whole world is based upon feeling and how you feel and these energy centers these chakras get blocked and i don't want to say blocked as in they stop moving because i don't think it stops moving like everything is moving your emotions are energy in motion it's moving so i don't think a blockage is like it's stuck but i do think that it's just like a lot of 
energy like dense heavy energy all crammed together and it's not able to move freely it literally is your emotional body so it's essentially a part of reprogramming your mind and a part of understanding your traumas it literally is shadow work like that's what balancing your chakras is is shadow work because it's talking about noticing your emotional patterns and having to get to the root of them in order to change them so when a chakra needs clearing or balancing or whatever word you want to use it's talking about the fact that you're constantly feeling a certain type of emotion often mainly a negative one but when you're feeling it constantly and there's no balance of going to the other end of the spectrum you know so like let's take the root chakra for example you could feel shame a lot like you could get in situations you could meet certain people and you notice like it's about paying attention and self-awareness you could notice that you feel shame quite often and like what is the opposite of shame it's kind of like being in your power isn't it it's like being empowered and feeling confident in yourself and feeling like you're worthy of being you rather than feeling guilty and shamed for something so it's like if you notice that you always feel shame well then the key to balancing that is to understand where that shame comes from which is usually a trauma and like a past experience and a belief system and then you have to reprogram that and rewire that literally rewire that (laughs) rewiring your dna and your brain to then release that release that shame so you don't feel that all the time you know and to empower yourself back into the positive aspect of it but it's also not about getting rid of the negative maybe shame like you wouldn't want to feel constantly but like things like sadness and stuff like that you're obviously going to feel because you're in a human experience with the five senses you're in a human vessel like we're supposed to feel the full spectrum of emotion but I feel like for me I realize that when you're balancing them or when you're trying to clear them you're actually just trying to allow them to move so that if you did feel shame for something you wouldn't get stuck there like it's not something that you're going to constantly feel over and over again in different situations because you've allowed it to move so then you don't hold on to it you know So I feel like I talk about all of these things already in previous videos when I talked about um, reprogramming your mind and changing your beliefs. But chakras is just another way to explain it. It's another way to understand it, you know, because each chakra represents a different aspect. Like it delves further into your emotions and helps you just isolate them and understand, like you can understand which emotions are the root chakra, which ones are the throat chakra, you know, like it just kind of separates all of these emotions out to help you then hone in on each of them and understand each of them rather than just like looking at a full list of emotions and being like, I don't know where to start you know I feel like it's such a cool tool to really help you work your way through them especially because you can do meditations on them and stuff like that so it really helps you just dive deep into all of the emotions that you could possibly feel so when something is blocked it's really just that you're like feeling a negative emotion constantly and that energy is not able to move anywhere like it's it still moves but it's like constricted and heavy and dense you know like it's not moving freely it's not being able to travel to the other end of the spectrum it's not being able to go from shame into empowerment because you're not feeling empowered you know so like it's just kind of staying around that heavy dense area and I feel like this is just my perspective and the way that I've managed to like internalize it you know but you could have a better way of explaining it but this is just how I have understood it for myself is that you It's about your emotional patterns and being able to really notice which ones you don't like, you know? Like, I feel like it's kind of um, obvious and clear. If you know yourself, you'll know which ones you don't like feeling. So if you constantly feel guilty for something, you know that that doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel nice. So you can kind of notice when something feels negative and when something feels positive, you know, but also you don't want it to go too far to the positive end of the spectrum to where it becomes arrogance, you know, and looking down on other people and things like that. So it can go both ways. And it's about kind of bringing it back to your heart center and bringing it back to the truth and authenticity, you know, and integrity and righteousness. It's really bringing it back into the center of 
both ends of the spectrum. So really this journey is reprogramming your mind. Like I've said before about how like everything starts in the mind and this whole journey can be difficult because the main obstacle is your mind. But that really is what it is because even when you think about emotions, they start in your mind. It starts with thoughts, you know, and they literally did an experiment on water and how your thoughts and like the intention that you put into water changes the I don't know what the word is. Is it like molecular structure or something? Can't remember the scientific phrase because I do not remember these things. But they did an experiment with water and they put different affirmations on it and it changed the something molecular structure of the water. And like the positive had an effect and then a negative affirmation had a completely different effect on water. And the fact that we are made up of like 70 or 80% water just shows you the effect that our thoughts and affirmations have on your body, on your emotional body, you know, on your energy field, your aura. So it really is powerful and it's more powerful than you probably realize. It's more powerful than I realized. But when you start to grasp it and understand it and then you look to reprogram your mind your whole world can change but believe me this shit is not easy and everything always comes back to needing to notice your beliefs and reprogram it to where you want it to go so really the chakras are just a tool for you to understand your emotions and once you understand what you feel on a consistent basis you then look to where that's stemming from and you then can work to change your belief system around that thing you know because beliefs are just repeated thoughts it's just thoughts that you keep on thinking so it's about taking control of your mind reprogramming it uh, which literally means repetition it means thinking the new thoughts over and over again to where you then turn them into new beliefs instead but i do have a video talking about reprogramming the mind so i'll link that down below but yeah it's just a case of reprogramming your mind so then the emotions that you feel are different but also there are other tools that you can use because for me i always thought for a while for some weird reason i thought that like the best way to reprogram your mind and change your beliefs is to move your mind to new thoughts is to like notice when it's happening notice when negative ones are coming up and then move it to positive but do you know how hard that is like for real i try it all the time and sometimes it is really really difficult and I always knew about the other tools that you could use, like meditation and things. But I guess I didn't really take it as seriously until I started to understand why you need to do that. Because I thought that you just change your thoughts. But it didn't occur to me until recently that like new thoughts and positive thoughts would come easily. They would naturally enter your mind if you were to meditate and clear it. Like if you were to train it to allow your ego to kind of silence itself and like gain back control of that through meditation and things like this then more positive thoughts would just come into your mind anyway like they would come up naturally and it wouldn't be such torturous task of moving it to positive all the freaking time and it never occurred to me that that could happen so i really really suggest meditation to anyone that's interested because it's about like you can't stop your thoughts, but it does allow you to just relax. Like it allows you to kind of notice yourself and notice what you're thinking, notice the negative things that are coming up. But also it helps you just let go. It helps them to like pass through easily without you attaching to it and it then turning into an emotion. Like when we attach to that thought, that's when it turns into an emotion. But when you're meditating, you're not attaching you're just letting go you're letting it come in and letting it leave so then the emotion doesn't get triggered and it doesn't stay and then your chakra gets blocked because it's staying and it's turning into a tight heavy dense energy you know so i hope this made sense but i do feel like i find it really hard to explain things intellectually because for me i just feel it you know it's energy i just feel what i know like when i feel like something's sinking in and being internalized i just feel it like i feel like i understand it but then when it comes to expressing it back out and saying it intellectually i'm just like 
I don't know where to start, you know, and then I end up stumbling on words. So this is a part of my like journey of really trying to break that cycle, reprogram, you know, like get past that astrological placement and transcend it and be able to actually do something that I want to do, which is express myself and and share this information and talk about my perspective. Because at the end of the day, there's only one of each of us so we all perceive things completely differently and we all have the ability to help each other by just sharing our own perspective you know so that is what I'm doing here but also um other tools that you can use are things like EFT and Qigong and yoga and all of these things just really help get the ego out of the way you know like there's even um Kundalini yoga moves oh what is it I think it's breath of fire and they literally call it the ego eradicator or the ego remover or something like it literally because you're so focused on breathing and trust me it's really intense I've done it many times and you're like so focused on that breathing because it's quite intense and fast that your thoughts just don't even happen because you're so focused on breathing you know so like they literally call it the ego eradicator because of that reason so there are so many tools that will help you stop thinking so like intensely and so attached to it it won't stop you thinking but it will stop you attaching to it so I think that's the main thing because the thoughts is how you create beliefs you know so if you allow all of these thoughts to come up and then you keep allowing it and then before you know it it's been repeated so many times that it's now a belief and it's a subconscious one that you don't even realize is there until something happens and it triggers it and then you're all emotional and you don't understand why and it's because it seeped right into your subconscious that you're not even consciously aware of it happening you know this is how brainwashing works in fact so so i think that is it for this video this episode if you're listening on the podcast apps but i hope that this made sense and i feel like the more that i do it and if i stick with it it will get easier for me to kind of explain things properly but yeah so thank you so much for listening and watching i hope this helped you and i'm definitely going to make more videos talking about the emotional body and stuff like that and i could even go into like the specific chakras and stuff because i feel like this is the key to this experience this is literally the key to this experience is the emotional body and that is the human aspect of us that is the humanity that they say that you should drop when they talk about being light as a feather they're talking about the humanity the human part of you and that is your emotions so like the key to enlightenment the the key to peace and freedom is about your emotions and the ego mind so i will make more videos on this but we're gonna leave it here for now thank you so much for listening and watching all of my links to my music and social media and my merch company and also our private instagram community that will all be linked in the description box below so make sure you check it out and until next time i will see you then bye